We're here doing a hive inspection this morning and didn't expect it to be too eventful so I didn't bring you in at the beginning but found something here as you can see I got this one taken apart I went in the queen is still laying she's doing a great job I saw her she's looks fantastic but I could see through the frames this just mountains of dead bees and you could see some of the still alive bees doing their best to get these dead bees out. Um, that's taken a lot of attention away from production. So this was just a, a reminder to me and anybody else that wants to be a beekeeper to check your bottom boards. Um, also these guys pretty soon will start to decay and get really nasty and cause sickness in the hive. Oh, she got him. She took him out. Or she took her out. So, uh, opening this up and brushing this off is going to give these guys a huge help. And, uh, all these other live ones you see down here, which is maybe, you know, 15 to 20, not a lot, but that's just right this minute. Uh, it'll give them a chance to get back to work and do another stuff. I don't know what caused all this death. It's probably because we went queenless for so long, so many of them died off uh, before new brood was hatched um, to replace them. So they've been dying faster than they've been repopulating as, as opposed to Mount Olympus here. So that's probably where all this death is coming from. But this also brings up the need to do a Varroa mite inspection. Uh, I already had it on my things to do. Um, I bought some stuff for it today. And hopefully we can get to do that. So we'll check them out. So I also didn't explain last week because of dead phone syndrome that I put a honey super on top of this hive because the blackberries are starting to bloom. And this is the biggest, biggest bloom, biggest honey flow in the Pacific Northwest. So here's my empty honey super. It's got uh, medium frames in it. All fresh foundation. They've ignored it largely the last week. Um, not quite sure why. Probably a couple reasons why, I should say. This is a queen excluder. So these normal size work bees can get in and out of there. See if I can find one that's going to try to right here. No, maybe this one. At any rate, they can move up and down through them. As you can see, it's not terribly easy for them. But the important thing here is that it, uh, here's one coming out. She ran away probably because my phone is uh, is that it, the queen's too big to get through so she doesn't go up and lay eggs up in the honey super and spoil everybody's honey so medium super queen excluder well we're done with our inspections uh, as you can see I'm walking back to the hive now uh, took my suit off for about two seconds so I shook three frames of bees into the you see I'm jumping now, whew, into the super, the, the honey super, to try to get them to encourage to build up there. And uh, so I had a couple thousand bees in the air, pissed off, flying around me. I walked away about 20, 50, 20 to 30 feet and uh, chilled off for a second, waited for everybody to calm down. Went to take off my suit, and apparently, I think one was on my suit, and I watched this bee, just out of nowhere, just whack, and got me right here. Yep, you can already see it's starting to swell up a little bit. I don't think he fully stung me, or she fully stung me. Um, because I started smacking my face a lot to try to get it off, and I don't see a singer in there, so. But, uh, just enough to get a little bit of venom in there. I can feel it burning a little bit, so. First thing, uh, maybe a little one. I don't know, I can't really. Time will tell. I'll check in with you guys later and let you know how it looks. Uh, now I have to go collect. I have to go collect my stuff. I'm a little nervous, but uh, that's good. That's a sign that the hive is strong and it's defending its stuff. Um, they may not be using the medium super yet for honey, but when I inspected the top box of the of the better colony, it was full of honey. the The top half of every frame had nothing but nectar across it, and they were busy at work. So I thought shaking a bunch of them into the medium super would encourage them. Oh, hey, while we're here, let's just uh, let's. Let's build out some honey, some honeycomb, and uh, we'll see. We'll see you next week. So uh, and I think I'm going to save the uh, Varroa mite inspection for next week, and we'll do that while we're doing our inspections because I've already kind of got them sealed back up now after shaking them off. I 
just didn't think it was a good idea to do it. So, well, let's uh, get our sh and get out of here before uh, they find me again. Talk to you guys later. So we're back. Today is Tuesday. Today's the day I process all of the uploads. So I thought I'd figure put this in there with this weekend's, which was Sunday. Um, as you can see, we now have on this big colony deep, medium, deep. As opposed to deep, deep, and medium on top. I'm doing that because I came back today and found that they had already all moved out of that medium box after I shook in three frames. They already all left it and have left it alone. And another beekeeper friend recommended that if you... I don't have any gloves on, so let me try to come to the back here. If you... Uh, Put the queen excluder on top of this bottom box and have your empty foundations in your medium frames uh, and another box full up here and leave your queen down there so she can't get up into here these guys will move back and forth the bees will move back and forth from the top and bottom one uh, they'll be moving over the empty foundations and that will cause them to start to work them. So they'll keep them in there more often. And this top box here will start to think it's queenless. And so they may even start to develop queen cells. Um, which was another option of mine. Because these guys are almost ready for a third box. So I was considering splitting them again into a, a, a third hive. So this is the other alternative. Uh, I think this way... I also want to keep them in the same box right now. Because we don't have to stare at the hive. Uh, can I switch camera views? No, I cannot. <laughs> so now I hope you guys can see me. It's fine. Um, this way, I'm doing both. I'm keeping them strong for the blackberry bloom, which is happening right now. They're all still one hive. They're still going to be acting as one hive. I'm hopefully getting them to draw out um, the medium frame uh, for honey storage. And... They may even be prepping queen cells to uh, split with, so that when I do finally split them, I don't have to wait a whole month and a half like we did the other one. They'll be already started and on their way, so that's the plan. It's kind of an experiment. I had never heard of this theory before, so we'll see. See you guys.